Your Majesty, distinguished guests, students, faculty, regents, and assembled friends. Augsburg College is honored to welcome as an esteemed guest today, His Majesty Olaf V of Norway. Augsburg unites in these greetings with three sister institutions whose roots are likewise entwined with ours in a common heritage, namely Lutheran Deaconess Hospital, Fairview Hospital, and Luther Theological Seminary. Augsburg is grateful indeed, Your Majesty, that you would include this occasion on an already overcrowded transcontinental tour of the United States. Augsburg has never entertained a reigning monarch of a sovereign nation before, and is therefore pleased to be able to do so before it celebrates its first 100 years. But it has welcomed His Majesty to this institution 29 years ago, when, as His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, he visited the Augsburg campus in 1929, uh, 1939. The warm and sincere sentiment stated on that occasion by Dr. Bernard Christensen, now President Emeritus, are re-echoed here today with the same warmth and the same sincerity. Many changes have visited this planet and all who have lived upon it during these past three incomparable decades. Yet some things do remain unchanged. And in His Majesty's presence, we salute the changeless, through this greeting to him. Unchanged is our gratitude for the spiritual values and high ideals which many of us received through those sturdy Norsemen who set forth from fjords and valleys of his majesty's country for the plains and forests of mid-America, here to build their Christian homes, their Christian churches, their Christian schools and hospitals. This gratitude is still intact and can once again be expressed in the words addressed to His Majesty on his last visit to Augsburg, when Dr. Christensen said, and I quote, Augsburg was founded to further ideals, Christian ideals of truth and freedom. In whatever degree that purpose has been realized, it has been due largely to influences which have their roots in the spiritual culture of Norway. On this occasion, we would express the gratitude of thousands who have through the years been permitted to drink from these invigorating streams of spiritual and cultural renewal." End of quotation. Unchanged also is our admiration of the vitality, the beauty, and the courage of His Majesty's nation, which while suffering the ravages of a tragic invasion, has risen during these post-World War II years to play a significant role in the development of all Scandinavia and of the Brotherhood, the World Brotherhood of Nations. Modern Norway enriches our life as an American people today through its dynamic artists, its thorough scholars, its fine statesmen, and its far-flung commerce this last bringing ships bearing His Majesty's flag to harbor in our own state. Untrammeled, too, are the deep longings of our hearts which beat as one with His Majesty's people for true democracy, genuine freedom, and just peace throughout the world. The name of His Majesty King Olaf and the late Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., will remain linked in history by virtue of the Nobel Peace Prize, and both will be uttered with reverent hope as representing humanity's dream, which we all share for world peace and social justice. Changes there have been indeed, but no change has overtaken our desire as a college to become more closely tied to His Majesty's country and to its present culture. Evidence of this desire can be seen in the full tuition scholarship 
provided by the Augsburg Board of Regents each year for a student from His Majesty's Kingdom to study at Augsburg College, created in honor of the visit of His Royal Highness Prince Harold to Augsburg in 1965, and designated the Crown Prince Harold Scholarship. Two young scholars, Mr. Lars Sandvin and Miss Elsa Dagny Haugen, have come to Augsburg by means of this scholarship and are both in this auditorium today worthy representatives of His Majesty's nation and of His Highness the Crown Prince. It is our conscious determination to see that there will always be on our campus a scholar in residence from Norway and furthermore to assist as many of our American students and faculty as possible to avail themselves of opportunities to enrich their lives by further study in His Majesty's country. To give evidence of our constant regard for His Majesty and his nation, Augsburg College is pleased and proud to present to him the first centennial gold medal struck to commemorate this institution's century of service to education in America, the centennial to be observed in 1969. This gold medal is not large or pretentious. Augsburg does not presume to be large or pretentious. But the precious metal in this medallion bespeaks the brightness and the beauty of a relationship which we at Augsburg College believe we enjoy and pray will continue with his majesty and with his country. Impressed upon the medal in the centennial seal are the characteristics of our college, the lamp of learning to show our love of learning, the cross to witness our Christian faith, and the city skyline to testify of our concern for a humanity more and more compacted into the cities of the world. Above and around all are the words, through truth to freedom, words which declare the conviction we have received from our founders and which by God's grace we will carry into our new century of service to education. Your Majesty, these words are engrossed on the scroll presented with this centennial gold medal. In grateful appreciation for the sons and daughters of the great nation of Norway, who founded Augsburg in the year 1869, and who have contributed to its growth during the past century, Augsburg College respectfully presents this first gold medal commemorating the centennial of the college to His Majesty Olaf V, King of Norway, given at Minneapolis, Minnesota, this sixth day of May, in the year of our Lord, the 1968th, and of the college, the 99th. It is my privilege to present the first centennial gold medal from Augsburg College to His Majesty King Olaf. President Anderson, members of the Board of Regents, members of faculty and staff, students of the Augsburg College, may I, Mr. President, thank you most sincerely for presenting me with the Augsburg Centennial Medallion. And I can assure you it will always be kept as a dear memory of this memorable visit to the Upper Midwest 
and to Augsburg College. I am indeed very impressed with the development which has taken place at Augsburg College since my visit here in 1939, together with my life, late wife. The campus has become really impressive. I am also pleased to note that you today have almost four times as many students as in 1939. Along with the growth, you have managed to maintain the ties connecting you with the home country of the founders. Augsburg College has indeed been one of the bases of the conservation of Nordstrom in the Midwest and has developed in a very remarkable way the cultural values derived from your Norwegian heritage. I would like to mention particularly your May Fest a Scandinavian Arts Festival, and your music library, which I understand has a large collection of Scandinavian music in the United States. On behalf of my son, Grumpen's Hell, I wish to bring his sincere greetings and thanks for your cordial reception to him here in 65. In this connection, I would also thank you for the establishment of the Grumpen's Herald Scholarship enabling Norwegian students to study at this college. In June 1965, I had the pleasure of attending the concert given by the Oxford College Choir in the auditorium of the University of Oslo. The visit to Oslo and Norway was a great success. It has greatly helped to increase the understanding among my countrymen of the importance of maintaining close ties with our relatives in this country. I am also proud to see that Oxford College has furnished its new buildings with modern Norwegian furniture, which gives the students an impression of the standard also of modern Norwegian industry and living conditions. I am convinced, Mr. President, that the Augsburg College will continue its work to maintain the values which has meant so much in building up of this part of the United States. And I wish the college, its faculty, its students, all the best in connection with the centennial celebration next year for the years to come. May the college always serve its purpose of being a home of freedom and learning under God. And may God's grace continue to be upon the labors that you perform within these walls. May God's speed with we be with you today and every day. Thank you.